Hello and welcome to Let's Play in the Space 2. I'm JC Proton and this is going to be the beginning of a new series. This will be Let's Play series number 9. And in this one we're actually going to be playing the Sofons. And we're going to be playing um, pretty militant and aggressive. And we're playing on the latest patch. Um, Amplitude has made some major updates to the game. I want to run through those real quick. Okay, so here are the notes. Uh, so this was called the Reawakening Update, and it came out on March 7th, uh, 2024. And uh, I'm not going to read it to you, obviously, but um, this is what it's about. Now, I'm playing the, the base game, so the combat rebalance is the main thing that will be changing in the game that we're playing in this series. Um you can see differences in weapons and defense and support modules, tactics, things like that. Um, it also it focused on changes to the academy and to how the Nakalim uh, play. Um, so I will eventually get to those in my Let's Play series. Um, I'm kind of easing my way into that. Uh, and currently, as of the time of recording this, um, they have uh, put everything on sale 75% off for their Endless Space 2 and their DLCs. Um, so, thank you Amplitude for these updates and I'm looking forward to playing this game uh, again. And, uh, and I'm looking forward to getting this series started, so let's go for it, man. All right, so we're starting a new game. Oh, um, okay, so I'm, I am running one mod in this game. I'm running uh, Better Planet Generation. Um, and what that does is it makes it where there are almost no star systems that have one or two planets. It sets the minimum to three, almost entirely. Sometimes you'll see a, a few, but very few will be one or two planet systems. Um, also... It makes the academy system always have, uh, whatever system has the academy always has five planets. Um, okay, so let's do a new game. So we're going to be playing the Sofons. Um, I had, uh, at the end of the last series, I had said, hey, give me suggestions. And I got three suggestions. Um, uh, four really um so i i got the uh, so sofons um then i got the vogiani and then i someone suggested united empire and someone said um some somebody aggressive right a militant faction um maybe um the he show um so i want to finish doing all of the base uh factions before i, I expand to the expansions um so uh, I am going to be playing aggressive uh, since the since it's tied, um, and uh, the first thing that was suggested was Sofons. Uh, then I'm going with Sofons. So uh, the way they normally look, their ships uh, normally are blue. The Sofonity, where science and a reckless disregard for survival go hand in hand. Okay, they're normally blue. And, and like white and gray and that's what they look like but uh, it was Thibaut Gherkin that was saying hey man do the Mavro skins since you're playing aggressive I'm like yeah you know what that's a good idea so we're going to go Mavro skins instead choose science choose recklessness choose the softens <laughs> they're so cheerful um, and so this is what uh, their color scheme is. It's, it's like black and red, pretty much. So that's what, uh, that's what uh, our ships are going to be looking like. Okay, so we're going to be um, not allowing custom factions. So we're playing the base faction of the Sofons, not a modded version of them. Um, so we're going with the hero custom skins because I think they look cool, man. Um, and uh, so we're going with Sofons in the light blue, and we're going to have Unfallen, Lumeris, Horatio, Vodiani, United Empire, Riftborn, and Cravers. Um, so that's eight competitors. We're going to go normal speed, um, endless difficulty. The pirates will be at the highest level, endless difficulty. 
We'll go with a, a medium amount of minor civilizations. We'll make them tough. Um, Rewatching battles. All these things are in my usual settings. And I'm going to go with all of the victory conditions active. Um, so we can win any which way. And you know what? I don't normally play with super weapons enabled, but, you know, in the spirit of the Sofans, hey, let's blow things up. Um, why not? <laughs> we're going to change it up, man, right? All right, cool, man. So we're going to go for that. Um, and then we're going to avoid galaxy, many constellations, maximum size and density of star systems. And then we're going to go with a random galaxy map. And uh, this is the usual stuff. We're going to go with normal resources instead of scarce resources. Um, you know, my, my, my games tend to drag out really long. So in an effort to have that not happen, uh, we're going to go with more abundant resources. So that'll let us um, kind of expand more aggressively, uh, having confidence that there will be sufficient resources available to upgrade our systems. Um and raise our maximum number of uh, colonies that we can control. So if we want to go Conquest Victory, that's an option. Um, I guess with the uh, Super Weapons Enabled, if you blow up the enemy home systems, that kind of counts towards a um, another one of the Victory Conditions where you take, take over or take out uh, all of the enemy home systems. So there's that. Um, so we're going to go with lots of anomalies and curiosities. Uh, supposedly there are some changes um, that this update brings to those. So I want to have the most chances possible uh, to see those. And going with Sofans, they have pretty fast ships, right? So they, I think, pretty good scouts. So um, should be able to do a good job of scouting galaxies, seeing lots of curiosities, and hopefully see whatever some of the new stuff is. Um, and then I'll go with uh, a large amount of special nodes. Uh, that'll tend to help um, fewer of the outlying systems have resources and kind of push tend to push them into the constellations where they're on trade routes. They have always been first, the Sofons. First to split atoms, mine asteroids, and capture the energy of the sun. First two to crash their test rockets, trigger artificial earthquakes, and accidentally blow up their moon. Their great power has given them great irresponsibility. But through it, now, they are the first to create perfection. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong, right? Whoa. That is a pretty promising start. Uh, looky, looky. Wow. Jade Onyx and uh, Titanium and Hyperium resources on the home system. Nice. Not the home planet, but in the home system. We got two Boreal. So we got two Fertile Planets. That's great. You gotta love it when you get two fertile plants. One fertile is not so good. Three fertile is amazing, right? But, but yeah, this is a really nice start. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna want that, and we're gonna want this, and build these. And let's see what kind of this. That's an atmospheric. So if you're to build an atmosphere, if you do it, building it on the planet, you see it costs a hundred industry. To do the exploration um to build a a ship that can do the exploration only costs 133 so most times i usually will just go ahead and build the ship if i need to do it okay so let's take a look at this here um our research we're going to run through all this stuff here um 
Actually, let's see what we start with. Okay, so as the Sophons, we're omniscient, um, which means we, we get to research things at a discount. They're really, really good uh, at researching. They're like set up for research victory, pretty much. Um, so you got Pilgrim Citizens. That's your minor race that's with you. Your Pathfinder reveals unexplored adjacent nodes. Fast travelers plus two movement speed on all your ships. Uh, inventory has minus 20% health. That's not so good, right? So we're going to use a lot of armor and air, right? Not so much with the industry, uh, infantry. Uh, xenobiology. Okay, we start with that. And we also start with rare earth foams. So that is these two. So xenobiology and rare earth foams. So that lets us colonize tundra and also Mediterranean worlds out of the gate. And let's see, we have the deed revealed. Seeker of truths, be the first to successfully search 10 curiosities and we get 75 Hyperium. Wow. Okay, that's a thing we're gonna do. Um, okay, so things we, let's see, since we have Titanium and Hyperium available right away, as soon as we colonize that planet, let's see, six turns looks like we'll be able to get the text for it. And I think we'll want the titanium and hyperium probes. Yeah, okay, that's one of the changes is this uh, improved um, scout ship. That used to be like out in the fourth tier. Now they moved it all the way up to second tier. So you get improved scouts really early on. So everybody's going to be able to get improved scouts a lot earlier. Um, early enough to where it matters, right? Because by the fourth tier, you've pretty much explored the map. You've certainly explored your area pretty well. So it was kind of too little too late. Or it was a good thing to have, but it was kind of late in the game. Um, so a lot of times it didn't really come into play that much. So anyway... Um, good to see that earlier. That'll be fun. Um, we're going to want to have access to Miner's Union. And we're going to want, I guess, access here to Ash Planets. I'll have to figure it out uh, where I'm going to go to. It depends if we have Ash Planets, you know, uh, in the system we take, I guess. I am going to want to get two of these in the Economy and Trade Tier 2. Um, so that I can unlock the basic system development because I'm going to want to be able to use these Jade Onyx resources uh, to do system upgrades, man. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's see. We did some things there. Let's look at our battle tactics. I like something that's long range and something that's short range. And then something that's medium range. So it's either gravity or plasma. That's hull plating penetration, shield plating, shield penetration. Let's go with shield penetration. Actually, you know what? I'm thinking about it here. Um, early in the game, I think armor is weaker. So if you're going to go kinetic, it's kind of good to do it early. So maybe let's go gravity distortion. Let's do gravity distortion for our medium range. So we've got a long, medium, short, and the medium range is whole plating penetration for both fleets. So that matters if you have armor, but if your ships don't have armor, then it doesn't matter, right? Okay, so we're going to confirm those changes. I like to kind of just go right along all the top things here. Oh, okay. Uh, something we need to do. We need to pass laws. What is our approval? Our approval is 53. Science is at 53. Let's pass cram exam. Now our science is 66. Ooh, that went down to four turns from six turns. Nice. Okay. Our approval is at 47. Okay. So it's low enough that we cannot tolerate an additional minus 20 right now. But usually after the first turn, you're... Um, 
approval goes up a little bit, usually. So uh, we'll look at uh, trying, to, trying to remember to pass a law next turn. All right, and let's see, we want to do some updates here. Early on, nine speed, that's a lot of speed. Let's go with more probes early. And it costs 30 for the upgrade. 53. All right, let's not spend the money on an extra weapon slot. that alone for now. We'll come back to it. All right, and we'll apply those changes. And then let's put our hero, let's see, we'll put this into the hangar. And let's put our hero here. And let's check out our hero. So this is always the same. This is for all that are counselors. What are his counselor ability? Is damage on fleet or increased dust, science on system. Health and hull plating absorption. Vision range on fleet. System happiness set to ecstatic. Okay, and then the Sofon specific abilities. Science on system, vision range and movement on fleet. Energy weapon damage on fleet. Huge amount of movement on fleet. Yeah, I think this guy's going to be an admiral. P probe stock on exploration ships and 20% shield capacity. Science on 60% extra science on system. Wow. If I can get like a governor type so fun, that would be pretty good. And then on fleet, 10% health on fleet or plus one science per pop on planets. Okay, yeah. So I'm saying this guy seems a lot more fleety to me. Uh, it's 19 versus 20 here, but I'm leaning towards going um, Admiral. Okay, and then let's take a look at the ship design. Okay, we're going to strip some of this stuff off. Let's see, he's a speed 6. Which is fine. What if I just add... Okay, if I add three probes, that takes the price up to 48. That's fine for now. All right, let me double check that scout design. Yeah, speed six as well. Okay, so they'll both be speed six. Okay, so now we have two probes and we have a capacity of 10. Okay, we could do the atmospheric. I think I want to wait on the atmospheric um, for the quest. access to transvine and meta intactogen okay that's going to be our boosters so transvine and meta intactogen masters of science 
They have crammed the cold, rocky homeworld of Hekim with glittering metropolises and great works of engineering that proclaim their genius. As the newest member of the Triumvirate, you face a future full of risks and challenges. But hey, that's where the fun is. More great discoveries await you in the inky depths of space. All right. <clears throat> well, let's go in the inky depths of space. So I'm going to save that atmospheric there uh, for in case. You know what? I'm just going to go for it, man. I want to get those 10 curiosities uh, revealed. I want to get those 10 curiosities revealed for this deed here. So I want to get going on it and try to get try to get 10 as quick as I can. Yeah, buddy. So we're going to rock and roll down here. Whoa, a five planet system and there's Jadonix there. Spheric, life form, six, eight. Wow. Food and industry. Okay, that's pretty good. I think we found our first uh, outpost system. And it's funny, there, there, there's, there's, at least on my computer, there, there's a bug here where when you first bring a fleet out of the hangar, um, I, I can't can't give it orders oh there it is there it is it's weird uh, sometimes if it's if it's not letting you do it you just click on another fleet and then click back to it back to it and then it, and then it does it okay um i'm thinking this we're gonna go ahead and colonize it now i think it's worth doing man Okay. Did I forget to upgrade things? No. No, I did. Okay. I'm a little out of it this morning. Dust loads. Oh, I got 75 dust. Okay, I was wondering why do I have so much dust up here, man? Cool. 75 dust. That was great. And it was a dust load. So, cool. Extra science and industry. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, very good. And that'll let us... Um, get a boost in here pretty soon we'll need 150 and right now we're still on turn one so we can't afford to do it yet okay i think that's i think that's everything that's everything for this turn okay cool um where the heck are we dude <laughs> wow we are way out there, dude. Uh, so this is the galactic center. Okay, Herolium is our constellation. The name of your constellation is usually generally towards the middle of the constellation. So that means we're on like the farthest edge of the constellation away from the galactic center. So, okay, and on, on a map like this, there's usually a line of five constellations along here on this axis, and then there's four more up here, and there's four more down here. So, we might be the furthest out on the end of this end of the galaxy, so we might be like way out here on the edge of the galaxy. 
which is good and bad. Um, uh, there's usually a whole bunch of minor civilizations on the central um, constellation, so we're not going to have access to them anytime soon. Um, but we're also far away. Like, like, like if you if if your empire starts like right next to the central constellation, then you know you're surrounded by something like five or six constellations. So you're surrounded. So there's a good chance that you're going to have multiple uh, rival empires really close to you. So that's a possibility. Mm, way out here on the edge, not so much. But there's going to be whoever else between me and the core. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how that, how that plays out. So we're way out. We're far out, dude. <laughs> okay, so let's, let's go ahead and advance the turn. And let's see, how are we doing for score here? We're at 49. Hey, we're in first place. <laughs> we pulled out in the lead right away, didn't we? Okay, we'll move our fleets. And let's see, how many probes are we up to now? Three. So we used one. We got two more that regenerated. I'm going to go ahead and use one on the atmospheric. I don't normally do it, but I think I think with with this abundant number of curiosities and stuff, uh, I think I think it'll be okay. Plus two approval and plus two industry. Wow, that is a really nice planet, and that's a really nice system. Cool. Good amount of food, really good industry. Yeah, that's going to be a great system. We're in 112. Okay, let's take a look at our approval. 53. Aha, now we can tolerate another minus 20 approval. So let's do that. So Super Tax Act is what we're going to pass. It'll give us three extra dust per population, but we'll take a minus 20 approval penalty on all of our systems. So right now we're at plus 14 and 53 and 50 so we'll pass the law super tax act and now we're at plus 23 dust income but our approval is only at 33 this outpost will also drop as soon as it establishes but that extra 23 means we'll get more dust piled up faster and we'll get to that 150 that we're looking for sooner all right, let's see. We have two probes left. Do I want to explore? Uh, I think I want to just get going, man. No. No, I don't want to get going. I want to get that. I want to get the uh, the thing. Yeah. I want to get the deed, the science deed. Nothing. Okay. Oh, I got life pods away battle tactic. Okay. Seventy five percent of the lost crew return to the Empire. Set damage bonus from crew on board to zero percent. Hmm. So they're like spring loaded, ready to eject from the ships. They're really quick to hit the uh, escape pods, apparently. Okay. Mostly a long-range battle tactic. Okay, cool. So that's good. Let's get uh, let's get rolling out of here. Oh, hero leveled up. Sweet. So we could go for Cosmic Castaway. He's an Admiral, so we're going to be doing all fleet type skills. Damage on fleet. Vision range on fleet and movement on fleet. Okay, cool. So let's do the movement. And he should actually... Right now their movement speed is 6 per turn. 
and is one, two, three, four moves away to get to Octans. All right, let's let's crank that up one, and it applied immediately. Now he's only three away from Octans, and the speed is seven, so they're faster already. Cool, and I think he can do that again, right? Yeah, he can do that again. So cool. Uh, we'll do it. That'll be the next one he gets when he levels up again. But he's gonna be an admiral. He's gonna be a fleety guy. He's gonna just stay out there on fleets. All right, let's advance the turn again. Man, we're at 54 for the score. We're pulling out in the lead. Cool. Not sure how long that's gonna last, but I am pretty happy with it. I don't normally get a quick start like that. Okay. Right, that's the effects of the black holes. Creator of wealth deed is revealed. That's over here. First to produce a hundred dust in a single star system. Oh, it's not 100 per turn. It's to just produce 100 dust. I'm at 38 of 100. So it's going to take me another one, two, three, three. Three times 21 would be 63. Yeah, three more turns and I'll win Red Sang, 75 of them, if I'm the first. Uh, I don't normally win that one, but uh, we'll see how the Sophons do. Uh, we got Mega Indie Consultancy and Titanium Refining. So let's see here. So as soon as we get this planet, we'll be able to start gathering titanium. And the next thing is plasma metallurgy, which will be done in three turns. And that will give us Hyperium. So we do want to get this colony really soon. Uh, Mega Indie Consultancy gives plus 10 industry per planet, plus 10 per fertile, and plus 10 if the planet is either temperate or cold. That's a Sophon specifically, uh, specifically, that's a Sophon specific industry or uh, whatever, technology. Um, so I want to do that pretty quick. Let's see, it's nine turns to build that or five turns to build that. Mm. Kind of torn there. If I have two of those, it would represent 60 additional, 60 more industry. That's pretty strong. I think I want to do the industry first. The dust and science is pretty good though too. It really is good. So I'm definitely torn there. I may or I'm gonna leave it like this for now, but I might I might adjust that. All right, um, these guys have three probes. So once again, we got two probes that generated uh, with the advancing of the turn. So we have a ruins one and a subterranean one. Okay, let's check out both of those. Ooh, and there's an atmospheric down here, an atmospheric too. All right, what did we see? Jade Onyx. And 10 titanium loot out of the ruins. Okay, cool. Nice. So there's two, two deposits of uh, Jade Onyx on this system. Three deposits on that system. And one here on our home system. So we've already got going to be looking at six Jade Onyx. Nice. Okay, we're going to move up this away. Okay, so I think this isn't going to go too much further up this way. It seems kind of like a blob shape, not a line shaped type constellation cool all right let's 
133, and I'll get 21 next turn, so that should get me to 150. Let's go one more turn here. We're at 58 on score. Uh, we've got a couple people in the 50s now. Cravers are 52. Riftborn are 53. United Empire is 53. Well, Horatio and the Vojani are both at 37, so they're tied for last, and right above them at 40 is the Unfallen. Okay, 154. Before I forget, let's do this. So right now, it is 11 food produced, and if I click this, then it doubles to 22 and it reduces the time it takes to establish the colony it cuts it in half but that's not counting the food ships the food ships are coming at 21 food for coming from Perseus my home system uh, and that's coming every other turn so I'll tell you what let's since I since I did that let me go ahead and rename using my usual naming convention so we're in Constellation A, System A. There are four rocky planets. And in this case, uh, Hakim is the name of the home of the unique planet here. Um, and since it's on star lanes, I use dashes. If it's off, if it's a planetary system that's off star lanes, I usually use like a, a space or something like that. Sometimes an underscore, but usually a space. Okay, so let's keep rolling, man. We've got four movement left, and we have three probes left. There's nothing left, no curiosities left to explore here. A five planet system, four of which are colonizable. Ooh, a jungle. Nice, look at that. Six food, five industry, whole bunch of curiosities. Subterranean, two subterranean. That's got a subterranean, a life form. Subterranean, subterranean, life form. Subterranean, wow. There could be more jade onyx there, man. <laughs> Maybe some titanium or hyperium as well. Wow, that's going to be a crazy system. I think that very well may be our next uh, colony outpost. Solar Nebula over here. Okay. And let's see where we at. We're at <laughs> yeah, four dust. We're gaining 21 per turn. Our approval is hanging in there. We're still content. Any Below 30, you, you go into... Uh, discontent and you get penalties so we're still at no penalty here so that's cool all right let's let's advance to next turn I'm kind of pumped I'm kind of pumped at uh, this good of a start man Jade Onyx start <sighs> huge huge so yeah, our system development, man, we're probably going to be using Jade Onyx at all three levels. Uh, okay. So the quest started. What a good idea. <laughs> okay, so this is like their so fun um, faction quest. So they're they're creating Enfer, which is a an AI to 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 manage their empire for them because they can't be bothered to do that kind of drudge work, right? Okay, so the options are militarize, uh, win three battles, and I would get use and lose ships, which reduces my ship construction construction cost by fifteen percent. Wow, that's pretty cool. I'll be building a lot of ships this game. I'll tell you that, man. I'm going to be, I'm going to be getting aggressive here. Uh, so fun, free move. 
gives you a health bonus on your ship, gives you four movement points and two vision range. So it's like an engine that gives you vision radius and health. Hmm. And it only costs 30 industry to make. So that's decent. So they're both reducing industry costs on ships. So it's really good, good maybe for like scouts. Socialize. Um, silicon tongued diplomats gives you minus 30% on bribe or praise actions with minor factions. So it's only for minor factions. So I'm thinking if it was for all diplomatic actions, um, minor and major factions, um, it might be worth it, but um, I'm far away from the center of the galaxy, so I'm not really going to be interacting with minor uh, factions very much, I don't think. Uh, there will probably be one per constellation um, that are populated with factions, major factions, and then one or two, I think, in the in the um, in the unpopulated constellations, and then the center of the galaxy will have a bunch. Um, so I'm thinking not this one and not this one because um, there's a really cool engine that you get um, scavenged ram scoop drive, and I think it's probably almost as good as this so i think i'm gonna do scavenge ram scoop drive so i think i'm gonna go with the militarize because i'm going to be playing a military style game we're going to be building a lot of military we're going to be doing a lot of fighting is what i'm planning on uh so use and lose ships will reduce our ship construction cost industry industry cost by 15 percent. so we're going to go with that one Okay, so Enfer is watching, learning how to teach Enfer how our AI to pick fight. Wow, okay. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong with teaching your AI on how to be really good at military action? <laughs> All right. Hmm. Okay, Enfer is watching, and we need to win three battles with our fleets. Okay, and then we'll get that ability, and they'll they'll all be on discount, I think, for the rest of the game. I don't see anything about a, a duration involved. Cool. All right, so let's go ahead and start exploring. We're up to six probes now. Cool. Okay, great. Well, we're going to start with the, the planet that I'm most likely to colonize first. So this jungle, ah, uh, very nice. Okay, so Jade Onyx and Hyperium. Okay, cool. And then what would be the next one? Tiny Borla, okay, that has five population. That has five, that has five, that has seven. Okay, so that's going for it. Um, that's six, zero, four, seven. Six zero three five, six two six three. Okay, so it's either the monsoon or the tundra. Monsoon has a little bit more industry. Tundra has hollow planet. Okay, um, well I have four, so let's explore both of these. There's a life form and a subterranean. And this one has a subterranean. So that one's at eight two four seven, and this one's at six four six. Okay, cool. All right, so we got two Jade Onyx and a Super Spuds. Oh, and he leveled up. Nice. Let's give him more movement. Okay, so he's at movement speed seven, right? Two of seven. We'll add another one. So now he's going to be probably three of eight. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I should have done that before I... Oh, well, I, 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 he's going to be staying here anyway. Subterranean. Life form. So, okay, so the snow, it would be boreal is the next one. Another Jade Onyx. Ooh, we got the uh, the deed. Yes, 
be the first to successfully search 10 curiosities. Okay, cool. We got the deed. Nice. So now we have 80 Hyperium already. Wow. So, yeah, next we're going to do machine bacteria, galactic commodities. Okay, cool. And is there, you see, he's all out of probes now. That fleet's out of probes, but we still have a life form and a subterranean to explore here. So we'll explore that next turn. We have super spuds now. Every time you make a discovery, you get a little bit of loot as well. So we have 33 Jade Onyx. We're gathering two per turn. And we found five Super Spuds. Yeah, he's going to stay there this turn instead of move. All right, let's do one more. Let's go one more turn. I want to finish exploring this system and then We'll head on out. I'm thinking probably back here. Oh, look at us. 60 points worth of score. Cravers are at 58. Lumeris is at 55. Yeah. All right, let's explore. We're at how many? Two. So it seems like we normally get about two probes per turn. I might have gotten three on one of the turns. I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's take a look at these last two, and then we'll head on out. Okay, another Super Spud and another Jade Onyx. Wow. Five deposits of Jade Onyx on the system. Okay, we totally want to colonize this one next. Oh, we finished the drone networks and we're colonizing the boreal planet. Okay, cool. Interplanetary transport network. Gives you bonus industry per population and plus three more bonus industry if there is um, strategic deposits on the planet. And we can start gathering Hyperium, so... We should actually be gathering titanium and hyperium as soon as we actually colonize this planet. Okay, cool. And then when we do, we're going to check to see and compare. Let's see, this one is one industry. This one has three industry. Okay, so we'll probably keep our population here until after we've built the interplanetary transport network, at which point it might be better because this will get a plus one per pop, which will make this four. And this will get a plus three and plus one, so plus four. So this will be, this will be five industry per pop, and this will be four industry per pop. At which point we'll probably be moving population over to Hakim three from Hakim. Is what I, is what I think is gonna happen because the industry will be one point more per population, which right now we only have three populations. So. And the population is growing very, very slowly because of the amount of food that's being shipped over to the outpost, which we'll be completing in about nine turns. It's usually less than that because of the food. Um, okay, so uh, we are done. We're out of probes, but we also have explored everything here in the system. Ooh, I want it before I forget. Um, what is the distance to get back here? Because we're going to want to make a colony ship to come over here to the system. One, two, three, four, five, 
six plus eight. 20. Looks like it's 20 movement. All right, we'll get moving up here. And Gaikon is the next system we'll be exploring. Whoo, a whole bunch of things up there, too. Atmospheric, subterranean, a life form, another life form, another subterranean. Okay. Okay, let's 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 plan our next uh, ship. Let's see what's what's the speed on the incubator? Speed eight. Okay. So I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna delete that design. We don't need incubators. We'll just make a new colony ship designs as we need them. So we need something that is that's the exploration ship design. That's the colonizer. Okay. So that's our colonizer ship. And we want it to be speed 10. That's speed 8. Time 10. Okay. So this is a speed 10 colony. Actually, it doesn't create a colony, it creates an outpost, right? So we'll call it Speed 10 Outpost. All right, cool. All right, and building that ship is not super, it's 150. Hmm. It takes four turns for me to build it. What if I, okay, let's do a price comparison. For a speed five outpost. Because like if it takes significantly less time to build, you can actually end up getting there sooner because it takes less time to build it. Okay, construction cost is 100. It's speed five. All right, and let's compare. Um, if I was building a speed five, versus a speed 10. So speed 10 takes four turns, a speed five takes three turns. It's a 10 would get there in two moves, so it would move the turn it's produced. So this would be four turns to make, so it would get there in five turns. This one, it would take three turns to make and then move the turn it's made and then would take three more moves. So that's a total of six turns to arrive. And that one's five turns to arrive. So this the speed 10 would get there one turn earlier. Um, the speed five would get there one turn later, but would take one less turn to produce and then would get me back to building whatever it is I'm building that much faster. So I think, let's see how long till this outpost is done? Nine. Yeah, I think I want to do it sooner rather than later. I think either way, I'm not going to have enough money to be able to boost it. I think I won't have time to boost it anyway, but um, I will try. I want to get it out there as quick as I can. It 
since since I already discovered these resources, I have enough. I don't have to get the income from the planet as fast. We can actually wait a little bit. Think something like that. Okay. All right, we'll advance the turn, get this locked in, and we'll probably wrap up the video. It's kind of been a long, long start. The first, the beginning of the video is always kind of long. So we're at score 64. We're still in first place, but it's pretty tight. It's, it's pretty tight. Okay, turn seven. All right, we are at two probes. I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll explore this um, next turn, or I guess in the next video. So thanks everyone for your comments, suggestions, um, for the, all the feedback I've gotten. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks everyone for watching.